So the real reality behind the pyramid is that it's actually part of God's incarnated reality. The desire of God is to create, to manifest, to manifest creation in order to manifest. So we are the likeness of God. That's how we become who we are. That's why the avatar comes in the form of who we are. Because that reality in itself is a divine order that is manifested in Buddha nature. It's a locked in DNA inside of us that's part of our evolution. And as we evolve, we can go from very unevolved human being that has a smaller brain, incapable of knowing and understanding certain things. But as we evolve, and this evolution of our species evolves, we evolve more and more from the DNA of a human being to a DNA of a Buddha. And that light inside of our atoms is the Buddha light. It's sitting there. It's waiting. It's inside of us. Yeah? So every time we meditate, we're triggering the vibration of that light to go into our cells, go into our mind, and radiate out into the world. And we become the light of the world. We become radiatory influences that collectively opens the mind of humanity and sponsors unity inside of people. But the biggest unity that is sponsored is the healing between men and women. It's that energy. Once that energy is healed, you will see the end of wars. You will see the end of conflict of separation and delusion. Whereas though, because you look different, because you're a different race, different culture, that blindness goes away because your ignorance is being lifted. It's lifted because of light within you that allows you to see you inside of someone else. That's Buddha nature. Because we really are all from God and we're all the body of God. Does that make sense? We're all in the body of God. But it's an evolution. It doesn't happen overnight. You don't go, bam, I'm super initiated. I've done that. But there are levels of initiation that takes place. A science that is divinely manifested and in order in the earth, just like it is here. Well, it's not there anymore. The picture of the earth and the moon. All of that is already there all the time. And we have around the earth pyramids that are left over from ancient cultures that have gone through this process. And as we reunite into that, we're actually healing the energy between men and women. We're exchanging what is a suppressive spiritual process into an awakened spiritual process that allows the kundalini the Shakti influence that comes from the incarnation of the avatar into humanity. A bridging yeah, between the higher divine order of manifestation to that of humanity and their relationship of the struggle that they're going through and how they come out of that. Because humanity is based on their solar plex by their energy here and your psychic energy, yeah? You can go through many initiations, gain a lot of spiritual knowledge, gain a lot of spiritual somewhat understanding, but it's not the law yet. The law is applied at a much higher level. It's known as monadic. In our first initiations, we're being initiated into the integration of the soul, the waking of the soul. And that soul vibrates a lot faster than your personality. So there is an evolutionary process that goes on that allows the integration and the full enlightenment to manifest. Yeah. So there's a process inside of humanity that it all works collectively. There's no separate ability. Once you get to a certain level of initiation, you realize you're not going to go anywhere unless you include everybody. 
unless everybody becomes enlightened. And you don't move any further because everybody gets pulled up to your enlightenment. That's called a bodhisattva. Every human being is to be awakened in bodhisattva. Every human being is to be awakened as Buddha. But it's not overnight. It's a process of enormous numbers of reincarnation. Because the bodhisattva quality comes from wanting to be here. Not thinking you can leave or there's any better place. Because the ability to save humanity from suffering is the greatest gift that will ever happen in existence of creation. The ability to help other people and not run and go off to a better place while they suffer. That is a delusion. You will reincarnate as a dumber person you did before you died. It's an illusion. The illusion does get broken. It does. Those lower initiations can quite often be very delusionary. Delusions of grandeur and understanding of certain abilities and manifestations inside of that psychic process that people are moving through while they're integrating their soul and their personality. So my work is that I provide soul therapy because this is not an easy process for people to awaken to. Pyramids are there in order to help the awakening, but it's the process of being able to align to a much higher teaching reality like Christ, or the avatar Krishna, or the avatar Rama. During those times of incarnation, that process between humanity and the incarnate, whether or not humanity can actually be in process to actually be respectful, reverent, and receive the energy of that incarnation, or Go through the process like Jesus, where he goes on a cross. It's nobody's fault. It's the process of initiation. What's the level of initiation on the planet? They certainly can't behave at a really high initiation unless they've actually attained it. So the avatar goes through the process of expressing the reality of the initiations of humanity by their reaction to the avatar <clears throat> and their ability to receive the teachings and be further. So throughout all the incarnations of the avatar, humanity has moved one step, another step, another step. And that's how we get our initiations. We get our initiations that come from God through the incarnations of God, just like imagine Jesus goes on a cross. Imagine how high of initiation that must be. But did that initiation happen in Jesus or did it happen in the planet? Did the whole planet get initiated at that moment in time? And did we change our clock to designate that this is now the time of Christ? We're all the body of Christ now. Whether we want to believe in any religion or not, the premise of the initiation is how humanity takes evolution and goes through evolution. So it's that process. We're now in the process to where a quickening of a recapitulation of those initiations are taking place. That means that here I am incarnated and I'm doing what I'm doing, but at the same time I'm overshadowing large numbers of initiates, like Patrigi, who is overwhelmed over the idea of building pyramids and meditating and helping people to be furthered into pyramids, while at the same time, I'm impressing upon the planet for that to happen, for large pyramids to be here by the year 2010 to the year 2015. They're here, and they're under my name. All of that is not a coincidence. All of that is an overshadowing of a planetary ashram. 
not a process where a few people are manifesting into initiates. The whole world is initiates. And the whole world is in the ashram. And the whole world is going through a process of awakening. And there's nothing in this world that we can't change. So as we move into cooperation, to where we're attracted to actually meditating in these pyramids, now that they're here, when we do that, we actually clean up our past life karma. It becomes absorbed in the light of our soul, transmuted and transfigured by the change of our personality. And every time our personality changes toward more love, that means God has forgiven anything of the past and continues moving us forward quicker because we're in a state of cooperation. We're cooperating with God. That's all God asks is for you to cooperate. God provides the science. God provides the initiations. God provides his only son in order to make sure that everything is in the light of initiation. And it's never in a material reality. It's coming out of the material reality. So when we put pyramids on the planet, they're there for personal and planetary healing. They're there for the planet to heal because it has the ability to not only heal and awaken the soul in a person, but to heal and awaken the soul in the continent, in the nation.